so I am back with another haul. Uh, before I get into it, I just wanted to say that I hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. Um, this is going to probably be a long haul. I have 80 things to share with you of stuff that I have gotten listed on eBay and some things within this haul um, have sold so I'll share with you what they sold for trying to make a dent in my table as always um, so we're just gonna get straight into it so the first thing that I have are these really cute ceramic tumbling snowmen so these are actually a set of five and they are all little snowmen in like various tumbling positions now you probably have seen these already before because i have already purchased them once before i found this set at the antique store and i paid just three dollars for the set um, these are actually by fitz and floyd when you come across them they will probably no longer have their sticker on them but they are fitz and floyd um so my last set sold for $79.99 so when I found these for three bucks I was like yes of course I'm going to pick them up so three dollars at the antique store and I have them listed for the same price of $79.99 um, one day at the auction there was kind of a collection of pink depression glass some of it was selling kind of on the higher side but I did get a couple pieces this here is a Kellogg's um, pink depression glass measuring cup it has three spouts on it which is really cool um, and it measures up to one cup. So this here, I paid about a dollar for, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $45.99. For whatever reason, some people didn't want this piece, um, but it is desirable. <laughs> okay, I have two Bratz dolls. These came from a yard sale. Um, I had gotten like a couple different Bratz dolls. I would say I paid about $2 a piece for the Bratz dolls. So this one here is one of the boy Bratz dolls. He is fully clothed. I feel like the boy Bratz dolls just aren't as desirable as the girls. Um, this one here I have listed for a buy it now of $12.99. And like I said, I probably paid about $2 for him. And then I also have this Bratz doll. This is Chloe. She would have, I know her like feet look weird and like angled. Um, she would have sat on some sort of stand. So when she sat on it, she'd talk. They didn't have that at the yard sale, just the doll. Uh, but average price of the Bratz dolls, I was paying about $2 a piece. Um, and this one here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. This here did originally come from a yard sale. Um, I had it in my collection for a while, but I never opened it. I never used it either. Um, it is a Lip Smacker gift set. So there are whew, three, six, seven, seven Lip Smacker lip balms in there. Brand new. I'm pretty sure I paid $2 for this um, at a yard sale. And I have this listed for a buy it now of $39.99. I wouldn't say these lip smackers are vintage, um, but they're definitely no longer made. So if a collector is looking for them, um, they may pay up for them. Uh, but vintage lip smackers can sell well. I have a bunch of vintage Valentine's cards. You'll see some in this um, video, but I have so many to list. <laughs> so this first one is... This one here, super cute, um, kind of like opens like that. Um, it is written on, on the back. So I have this one. I list my Valentine's cards, my vintage Valentine's cards. I usually list them as buy it now for $9.99. And um, I do sell them at that price. And then the more interesting ones, I will put up on auction with a $9.99 start price. Um, sometimes they'll get a bid, sometimes multiple bids, and sometimes they won't get a bid, and then I'll just relist as a buy it now for $9.99. So this one I have listed as a buy it now for $9.99. got this Starbucks tumbler. So it's really pretty iridescent, got like the mermaid um, scales on it. I'm pretty sure it was never used. I mean, the sticker is still pretty well intact there on the bottom. Pick this up at a yard sale. Again, I say I paid about $2 for it. No, 
$3. I paid $3 for this one and I have it listed as a buy it now for $26.99. This piece actually sold today. My auction ended. Um, it hasn't been paid for yet, so crossing fingers that it gets paid for. Uh, but I picked this up at an auction. This is like a a studio art piece. It's really cool looking. It is signed on the bottom, Benedict. And researching, I couldn't find anything um, with that name. So I don't know if, you know, someone just made this, like kind of like a hobbyist piece. But if they did, I feel like they did a really, really good job. I mean, it's a really cool, unique piece. Um, anyway, I paid $8 for it at the auction, and it did sell for $43. So, like I said, hasn't been paid for yet, but crossing fingers. It had a lot of watchers. It had 12 watchers. So other people either knew who it was, and maybe I made a mistake, or um, they just really liked the look of it. I did... When it comes to, just a little side side note, when it comes to pottery pieces where you're not quite sure what the signature is on the bottom, there is Facebook groups dedicated specifically to identifying studio pottery marks and things like that. I did post a picture of that in there and the general consensus was that it was probably someone who was in maybe like an advanced um, pottery class because it is it is a good piece but they said it's slightly messy like this like chunk here on the bottom so that was the general consensus with it but maybe someone else knows something I got another vintage Valentine card the Valentine cards I had one like a huge shoebox full I still have so many to go through and list it's just been fun though looking through them a lot of them are really old some are german some are made in the usa this one was made in the usa it says be my valentine and everything will be ducky really cool thing about this one is check out the back it's in not necessarily morse code but um the the teacher gave this to a student and she just put the numbers down so like each letter represents a number i forget exactly what it says but it's really cute so it gave like the kid a little you know little game kind of thing to do um to read their valentine card that one buy it now nine dollars 99 cents item popping up a picture because it's big this is like a really large red drum shaped lampshade absolutely beautiful these things can be pretty desirable especially this color because it's harder to find red lampshades really um i paid five dollars for this at a church uh kind of like fill a bag rummage sale it wasn't really fill a bag but it's like an indoor church yard sale basically anyway five dollars for that and i listed it as a buy it now for 99 dollars and 99 cents i got a vintage care bear this probably came from a yard sale so a dollar or less for it and I have it listed as a buy it now for $12.99. Necklace, this was in like a tray of jewelry. I had one at an auction. It's just a like plastic beaded necklace with these long tubular um, beads. They have these really pretty like iridescent-y metallic-y beads on there as well. No maker's marks or anything like that, but most of the jewelry that was on the tray was older. I listed this for a buy it now of $9.99. There are things sometimes when I win stuff on like trays and box lots at the auction and I'm like, do I even want to list this? Is it worth listing? Is it worth my time listing? I don't know, but I have sold some weird stuff through, you know, all the years that I've been selling on eBay. I've sold some weird things. so. I, I just sometimes take a chance on, on some of the more unusual stuff. I don't know if this will sell or not, but I listed it. It's this um, rope donkey. <laughs> and he's got um, like this yarn. And his ears, I'm pretty sure, are leather. Um, I don't know. It's definitely interesting. It's never seen anything like it before. Not quite sure the purpose behind it or anything like that but I decided to list it who knows we'll see if it sells 
Um, I listed it as a buy it now for $9.99. This was another pink depression glass piece. This is a little pitcher. Really pretty. Um, it does have just a little bit of issue on it. I know it does. What was wrong with it? Yeah, there's some like ugliness right down here. I don't think it's like, like I don't feel like you can't feel a crack or anything like that. So that might have been like a production dealy. I'm not entirely sure. And then there's like a little flea bite on the inside of the um, lid there. I won this for $5 and I listed it as a buy it now for. So this came with just a couple other pieces of um, things that I got at the auction. I paid $5 for everything. This here I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. Times when Eric goes, Eric goes to an auction a lot of the times where I don't go with him. Um, I do most of the research and stuff like that and he's the one that actually sits there and bids and I give him price points as to what I plan on selling something for and then he decides what to bid on. So sometimes like <laughs> I don't know exactly what's happening so for all I know that picture might have come with that Kellogg's measuring cup on a tray, that kind of thing. So that's why I sometimes am not like entirely 100% sure what's going on because I wasn't physically there. Won this at the auction. This is a really large, um, really nicely made pottery bowl. Um, I remember when I was looking up some information on this, I had seen one sell for uh, hold on, let me see. It was circa 17th century folk art harvest bowl. Um, I had seen it sell on a website um, with a slightly different pattern. And then I saw the same one that looked very much similar to this um, sell on Etsy for a hundred some dollars. So I paid, paid, I want to say maybe $10 for it. I don't have written down what I paid for this and I don't know why. Um, but anyway, I put it up as a buy it now for $99.99. So I was hoping to at least get that since they have sold for more than that on other platforms. So we'll see, but it is a really nice old pottery bowl. These were on a tray of jewelry from the auction. They are little kind of like Christmas themed earrings. They look like Christmas bulbs. Um, I listed these as a buy it now for $9.99. They are for, and they are for pierced ears. This, again, jewelry tray at the auction. This actually already sold, but I'm waiting on the payment. <laughs> it did just sell, I think, uh, yesterday. So, uh, but this is by the company 1928, and it came with this little wreath brooch and matching earrings. So I listed this uh, for $19.99 on auction. And like I said, that did sell, just waiting on payment. If they don't pay, it'll be relisted. This is another random piece that was on a tray at the auction. I had no intention of purchasing it, um, but it's this little miniature ceramic lighthouse. And these were selling. Um, I think this would have came in more of like a set with some other little miniature uh, pieces, uh, but I only just have the lighthouse. So I listed this for a buy it now of $9.99. Um, we got this green crimped glass rose bowl. It has this really pretty um, painted design on it. It does have a little bit of color loss on the gold. Um, no markings. I paid $1 for this and I have it listed as a buy it now for $19.99. We will be having quite a few beauty things in this haul because I'm still trying to get through my beauty trays I won at the auction. Um, this is a Philosophy Sheer Splendor Anti-Aging Biopeptide Conditioner for Chemically Treated and Chronically Dry Hair. So I do have two of these available. They are brand new um, and I listed them for $25.99 a piece. Pack of Dr. Denise Firming Facial Pads. There are 60 pads in here. Again, sealed. 
Um, this here I have listed as a buy it now for $26.99. I have this Dr. Denise Dermaclean. This is a gentle BHA cleanser. Uh, this here I have listed for a buy it now of $39.99. I have this set of two Philosophy Sheer Splendor. This is an age defying hair marinating oil. So these are brand new. This was for a lot of two of them. I have listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I also have another Dr. Denise item. This is called the Doctor's Skin Recovery Serum. So then it's in this glass bottle and it comes with a dropper and some sort of cloth. I'm, gu I'm guessing this is like a face cloth. I, I don't know. Anyway, it's new, never used. Um, I listed that for a buy it now of $29.99. Um, next item is a Philosophy Gingerbread Man um, shower gel. I have that listed as a buy it now for $29.99. I have this really pretty blue frosted glass Fenton bird. Absolutely adorable. Um, this would have had a Fenton sticker on it. It would have been back here because there's a little bit of sticker residue on him where his sticker would have been. I won this at an auction um, for $3 and I have him listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I have this Barbie bathing suit. It's a little vintage Barbie bathing suit. I sold a Barbie bathing suit not that long ago for $20 just for a Barbie bathing suit. Um, so I listed this one, um, put it up for a buy it now of $5.99. It's not worth as much as the last one I sold. I got this vintage glass milk bottle for Kanawago Dairy. It says the healthiest story ever told baby there. So it's in really nice condition. It is a, what is this, a pint. This is a pint. Um, I have sold some milk bottles lately, so I decided to pick it up. It's in really nice condition. I paid a dollar for it and listed it as a buy it now for $19.99. I got this really pretty blue, cobalt blue, frosted glass vase. Um, it does say made in Japan on the bottom, so it is vintage. Um, really pretty. I love the color of that. I won this with another vase at an auction. Um, you haven't seen the footage video of that yet, but it will be coming. Um, but yeah, it came with another vase. And I have this one listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I got another vintage Valentine's Day card. This one has a traffic cop on it. And it is signed on the back. Buy it now, $9.99. Cha-ching! What was that? Let's see what that was real quick. Oh, I got paid. Woohoo! I got paid for the pottery piece. That is headed to... I'd shit if the person's last name was Benedict. Okay, no, it's going to Oregon, though. So cool. Um, let's see. Uh, typewriter Valentine. So we got another vintage Valentine card. I did put this one up on auction with a starting price of $9.99 because someone else has the same one listed for like 20 something, I believe it was. So in case, and it did have watchers. So I figured if someone was really wanting it, they could get it cheaper for me. Uh, but it has a typewriter on, really cute. This one is a cute one and it is signed on the back. So this one's on auction, $9.99. That's another vintage Valentine. This one has a really adorable puppy dog on it. Signed by Timmy on the back. Really cute. Buy it now. $9.99. Um, next was for a set of IBM ink ribbon for, I think, a typewriter. I'm not sure. This was something Eric purchased while he was at the auction. He paid a dollar for all of them and listed them as a buy it now for $14.99. Eric also purchased this at the auction. This is a Pelican system selector. It connects video game systems. It could connect up to four video game systems. It's brand new, still sealed. Um, so, I don't know if it has a date or not. 
But regardless, he paid $1 for it and listed it as a buy it now for $59.99. So that was a good pickup. Had him bid on this book here. This is a Lower Paxton Township um, Bicentennial book. So just a vintage book um, that just talks about uh, the township, I guess. Um, last one sold for, where are we at here? Last one sold for $39.99. Actually, I think it might have sold for a little more than that. Um, anyway, he only paid a dollar for it, and I listed mine as a buy it now for $39.99. So hopefully there's another person out there looking for this book. <laughs> Gonna pop up a picture of the next one because... It's not on my table, so Eric must have sat it somewhere. This was for a lot of 40 Poopa Troopers. These are those little men with the parachutes attached to the back. We throw them up in the air and like their parachute comes out. We just sold a box of these for like $100. So they're definitely worth money. This was for a lot of 40 of them, just loose, no box. He has these listed as a buy it now for $59.99. And they have quite a few watchers. Um, two... Scrubbing bubbles, automatic shower cleaner refill bottles. These are brand new. Um, these can sell really well, especially with the system. They had the system at the auction, but somebody paid too much for it, in my opinion, as far as resale goes. So maybe they bought it for themselves. Um, but for whatever reason, they weren't interested in the refill. So that didn't make any sense um, because we got the refills for $3 for the pair of them. And I listed them as the pair for a buy it now of $39.99. I got this vintage Madame Alexander doll. She was in a lot that I won at an auction. She came with some other stuff. I didn't intend on purchasing her. Her name is Rebecca. She's in her box. The box isn't in the best condition, but it doesn't appear that she was ever taken out or anything like that. Really cute doll though. Um. Let's see, I listed her as a buy it now for $25.99. This one is an awesome Valentine card, vintage. This one is an anthropomorphic corn on the cob. So stinking cute. Um, I did put this one up on auction as well, again, because someone else has it listed for like 20 something. I listed mine on auction with a starting price of $9.99 of Brat shoes so these were in the bag of the brats dolls that i got at a yard sale um these are just some replacement sandals i listed these for a buy it now of three dollars and 99 cents it's from 20 2014 hello kitty it's all in japanese but it's an erasable kind of like memo or note, note, like you can write with a, any oil-based ballpoint pen on here and then it has a little heart and you can erase it, it's erasable. So brand new, still so seal. A lot of people collect Hello Kitty and Sanrio. I have this listed for, oh, I put this on auction with a starting price of $9.99. I couldn't find any um, listed or sold to go by. Another vintage pink uh depression glass this is a um perfume decanter really gorgeous it's got this like hobnail like spiky hobnail look to it really pretty um listed this on auction with a starting price of $23.99 i've won this at an auction on a jewelry tray i paid $24 for the tray of jewelry that this was on um, I didn't go through the rest of the jewelry yet. It was this piece in particular that I wanted. It's this huge, oh my god, this thing is humongous, um, vintage pink lucite brooch of these calla lilies, and they're, like, encrusted in rhinestones. Absolutely gorgeous. No markings. Someone has one that looks exactly like this, except it's just the one, Calla lily, one, one leaf, petal, one petal, calla lily. Um, so like this one's not there. It's just, just one of them. And they have theirs listed for like a hundred and I want to say 20, maybe more than that, 120 something, potentially more than that with a lot of watchers. 
So, like I said, I paid $25 for, no, $24 for mine. And I listed mine as a buy it now for $99.99. So, less monies and you're getting a bigger brooch. So, because I didn't pay, didn't pay much for that. That was a good, good buy. This jewelry piece, this is just a, this is brand new, Forever 21 bracelet. I actually purchased this myself um, years ago and I never wore it. It's really cute though. Uh, Forever 21 jewelry isn't really, you know, expensive or anything like that. It's very inexpensive. I listed this as a buy it now for $9.99, mainly because I purchased this years ago. So it's not like you can just go and buy it now. Vintage Valentine card we got. This one is a little girl playing croquet. So buy it now, $9.99. I got this pin. It just says, get melted two-faced. It's just a little um, pin back button. So people collect makeup, people collect advertising type things. So who knows if anyone will want this. I listed it as a buy it now for $9.99. Vintage Christmas ornament. This one's really cute. Um, this one's of a little felted, they do call these snow babies, um, just a little felted, um, ornament. So stinking cute. Look, look at its nose. Its nose is like one of those little, I don't know, shiny beads. And it is marked Japan on the back. Some of these can sell really well, especially I saw one that was kind of funky colored with stripes on their clothes and they were selling high. Um, this came on a tray of some vintage Christmas ornaments I won at an auction. I have this one listed on auction with a starting price of $29.99. This was a random thing um, Eric brought home. Uh, he sits with a lady at the auction and she sometimes gives him things that like she was just going to throw away. She does sell on eBay as well. Um, and she was going to throw these away and Eric's like, no, no, we'll take them. Um, I'm pretty sure they're supposed to look like stones, like polished stones, but they're kind of like clam shaped as well. They are salt and pepper shakers and they are on um, just this little tray. There's no markings on them, um, but they definitely have that like simplistic feng shui type of look to them. So they're really quite cool. Um, I did see a set sold on, I think, Poshmark, but I didn't see any listed or sold on eBay. So we'll see Um, he didn't pay anything for them and I put them up on auction with a starting price of nine dollars and ninety nine cents um, Okay, you got two more Valentine cards. These ones are actually German and they're mechanical um, this one here is Of two kids swimming. I'm not entirely sure. I don't want to move it too much because I'm not exactly sure how precisely it works. Um, but I put these up as buy it now, $9.99. This one as well is German. And it's a little girl feeding a duck. So she it kind of moves like this. Um, and this one is actually marked 1934 on the back. So that's really cool. Um, buy it now, $9.99. I got two vintage metal trash cans some of these can sell really well and this was a good one um this is by someone named keller charles of philadelphia these are super clean like there's no gunkiness really or anything on the inside i just threw my care bear in there um this says columbia by charles wasaki um so it has a ship on the front Eric paid a dollar for this one at the auction, and I have it listed as a buy it now for $69.99. The last one of this sold for 70 something. So cheaper and in better condition for sure. Then he also won this one again. It's by the same dude. Um, it has a ship on it that says the Charles W. Morgan. Again, really nice nice clean condition absolutely gorgeous this is beautiful um of course he paid five dollars for this one because no lie guys at the auction like people we know each other as far as like everyone's ebay names and stuff like that so we know who else is a reseller like everyone knows um everyone else 
is eBay names basically um, because it's not hard to find when something sells at an auction and then you go and look um, a day or so later you'll see it listed and you can find someone pretty quickly that way um, so anyway like people know that we sell and obviously we know what we're doing like if we're willing to pay for something like it's got to be worth something right you know so he got the first one for a dollar so the next one comes up and of course he has to pay five dollars for it because other people start bidding um so this one here again i listed as a buy it now for 69 dollars and 99 cents so i think these will go pretty quickly hopefully cross some fingers i got this vintage horror paperback called the immortal this is from what year is this from 1986 so I got this at a flea market. I probably paid a quarter or 50 cents for it. Um, I listed it as a buy it now for $5.99. I read it first. Came on a random tray. I won at the auction. It's a little blue, cobalt blue hen on a nest. It is marked made in Taiwan on the bottom. I listed this for a buy it now of $9.99. This here um came with some other stampers that i had got at a yard sale a long time ago well as a long time ago i mean over the summer <laughs> this one is of a gingerbread man kind of has like a cute primitive type of look to him by joy marie inka dinka do that's really fun to say um listed this as a buy it now for four dollars and 99 cents the same this was on the same tray as that uh where did it go um on the same tray as this little guy this is like an articulated metal fish like its whole body moves it's really cool someone has a string on it to i guess they were using it as an ornament but i'm pretty sure it might be a necklace pendant i'm not entirely sure but that would be really cool as a necklace pendant so just articulated fish ornament or necklace pendant i listed this auction with a starting price of twelve dollars and 99 cents i think this is my last vintage valentine card um but this one has little blue birds on and then it opens up like that buy it now nine dollars and 99 cents oh and these little hearts are kind of like flocked free out of a um someone had a pile of free stuff along their curb during like a community yard sale um, you probably saw me pick these up in the video actually um just leopard print fuzzy dice i decided i didn't really i didn't really want them so i listed these i could not find guys i couldn't find leopard printed ones i couldn't find any listed i couldn't find any sold so i don't know if they're harder to find I listed them on auction with a starting price of $9.99, so we'll see. I have, I have a more vintage Valentine card, and this one is the best. Um, this one is also anthropomorphic. It says, Valentine, need a little spooning, and it's got a little spoon and a little um, medicine bottle, and it is signed. This one here I do have on auction with a starting price of $9.99. Vintage plush caterpillar i mean look how cool he looks in his shades um i'm pretty sure they called these lots of legs like back in the 80s these were pretty popular they had ones with like way more legs than this i don't know where this came from but i listed him on auction with a starting price of nine dollars and 99 cents next item actually already sold this was for just a little vintage ceramic cat it did have issues um its head was repaired at one point and it was missing whiskers on one side of its face i listed it as a buy it now for five dollars and 99 cents and someone did buy it um i'm pretty sure i got it for free at a yard sale things i'm gonna try and oh my gosh i i'm gonna try and fly through here uh, first thing it cosmetics buki makeup brush brand new listed this as a buy it now for $25.99 philosophy falling in love perfumed body lotion i have two of these available buy it now $19.99 philosophy falling in love three in one you can use it as shampoo body wash or bubble bath i have 
two of these available. Buy it now, $19.99. Recipe Inner Grace Perfumed Shampoo Bath and Shower Gel. Um, I have this listed as a buy it now for $29.99. This one's a harder, harder to find fragrance. I got a Philosophy The Fragrance um, Shampoo, Shower Gel, and Bubble Bath. I have four of these for $22.99 a piece. I have a Philosophy, the Supernatural Airbrushed Canvas. This is in the shade beige. It's like a foundation. I have this listed as a buy it now for $39.99. I think I have two available. Next item I already sold. This was a Philosophy Powdered Sugar Cookie 3-in-1. That sold for $39.99. Thing sold. Um, this next one was an It Cosmetics eyeliner that sold for $19.99. And then I also sold a Sega Master System console that sold for $179.99. Philosophy Micro Delivery Peel Hydrating Mask. All this stuff is brand new. Um, I have two of these. And these are listed as a buy it now for $14.99. Next item, I'm going to post up a picture. We came across like a ton of these vintage ice cream cups. Uh, I don't know what we were thinking when we bought these. I think we were just thinking like someone who collects like advertising type pieces might really be interested in them. Um, they were for a company called Bressler's Ice Cream. Yeah, they're really nice cups. They were never used. Um, we won, oh my gosh, so many of them for like, I mean, I'm talking like stacks for a dollar. And then we listed them in sets of five for a buy it now of $9.99. So far, none have sold. So I don't know, we might be stuck with these ice cream cups, but maybe someone will buy them. We'll give it some time. Really cute ceramic. Um, it's a little mouse waiting by the bus stop. So I'm pretty sure I got this free again along the curb that someone was throwing away. I have that listed as a buy it now for $9.99. Chave Plump and Thick Leave-In Thickening Cream. This I have listed as a buy it now for $19.99. I also have the Nick Chave volumizing elixir this i have listed again buy it now nineteen dollars 99 next item already sold this was for a philosophy um shimmer shimmer puff um it was basically like a puff filled with with shimmer and it was scented with the philosophy amazing grace fragrance that's over twelve dollars and 99 cents two of these karenique brand new hair regrowth treatment for women it's a two-month supply um i got two of them and i have them listed as a buy it now for 29 dollars and 99 cents a piece i also have a set of three karenique lift and repair treatment spray these are again i'm brand new still sealed this is for all three of them buy it now for 29 dollars 99 i got a philosophy the supernatural super beautiful foundation this is in the shade natural ivory brand new listed for a buy it now of 39 dollars 99 i got four of these philosophy purity one step facial cleanser these are the eight ounce bottles all sealed i have these listed as a buy it now for twelve dollars and 99 cents a piece okay something that's not philosophy i got this really funny looking skinny santa claus he is made of like a ceramic no maker's marks on him he came with some other stuff i won at an auction i have him listed as a buy it now for twelve dollars and 99 cents I promise we're almost done guys. I apologize. This is a long video. This is a philosophy heavenly light pink illuminator Listed this for a buy it now of $22.99 um, Next item already sold this was for it um, Three it cosmetic chanaz de Um Lip treatments there was three of these and someone bought all three of them 
um, for a buy it now of $19.99 a piece. Got a brand new still sealed philosophy pure grace perfume. Have that listed as a buy it now for $49.99. It is a large bottle for fluid ounce. I got a philosophy the supernatural airbrushed color correctors. This is a concealer palette in the shade light. Um, have this listed as a buy it now for $39.99 and I have two of those. This little snowman set, um, this is by Jemmy. It does run on batteries. There's no batteries in it currently, but it does work. I'm pretty sure we have a video of it playing in our auction listing. We paid $1 for this. Listed as a buy it now for $34.99. All right, this next set is cool as heck. I love these absolutely love these i've um, never seen anything like them before uh so these are by what does it say everlasting glow um again these also run on batteries but these are large candles like the faux candles with the flickering flames and there's three of them so it comes with this one we got this one and then we got this one so I listed them as the complete set. I paid $2 for the set of them at an auction. And I have them listed for a buy it now of $39.99. And then the last thing I have is this really awesome vintage Harley Davidson 18-wheeler. Um, this is uh, made with non-toxic enamel paint, which is awesome. You don't want that toxic stuff um, is by Nylant and they make some really nice um, toy cars and things like that. So it was never taken out of the box. So it's brand new, still, still wrapped up in there. And I don't know the year on this, but it's definitely older. It's definitely not like a newish toy. Um, we paid $35 for this at the auction and I have it listed as a buy it now for $99.99. The longest haul I've done in a while. I'm really thirsty. <laughs> so thank you guys for, if you're still watching this, if you're still tuned in, thank you for watching all of my videos. Um, I really appreciate it um, because yeah, sometimes they're kind of long and I do apologize. I try not to make them super long, but I had a lot of stuff to show and I still have a ton more stuff on my table. Plus I'm gonna be listing after I'm finished editing this video. So long day ahead fun fun times so i hope you guys enjoyed this one let me know what you thought down in the comments and i will see you next time